I spoke at a school in Homewood a few weeks ago, and I asked, who knows someone that was killed? I believe every hand went up, at least in the high 90% mark. And then I said, how many knew five people? Most of the hands went up. How many knew 10? Several. That is a huge difference than when I grew up on Wally Avenue in the Hill District. I'm Tim Stevens. I'm the co-convener with Valerie Dixon of the Greater Pittsburgh Coalition Against Violence. It's an initiative of BPEP, the Black Political Empowerment Project. We initiated this right after there was a rage of violence in our city. I'm Lois Tony McClendon. I'm the lead writer editor for the Coalition Against Violence, but I am a community activist and I am involved in a lot of different organizations. I view my role in the community as a guy who's been around for four and a half plus decades trying to make a difference as a civil rights activist and a community activist. It was in that light that uh, I personally called the press conference on February 8th of 07 and we called over to some of our young guys from One Hood and they said, uh, can we join with the Black Political Empowerment Project in this launching of the document? Or We didn't know we were going to do a document, but this launching of a concept because there was an outrageous amount of violence going on. If people do not know who Jordan Miles is, he was a Kappa student. He was on his way home, and out of nowhere came these big policemen who, so I think they didn't identify himself, and they came out and essentially they beat the poor boy because they thought he had a weapon. Uh, they tore the hair out of his head, his lock. After that happened, because he was a Kappa student, the students at Kappa almost had a walkout. And the Black Political Empowerment Project, BPEP, we were right there. So these youth summits, the work of Corporate Equity Inclusion Roundtable, the general work of the Coalition Against Violence is to change the environment, to change the roots of violence, pull them up, get people to work, get people to think differently, and create a different environment in which we all live. The roots of violence will be there for some time to come, and our purpose with this youth summits build youth leadership, build a consistent commitment from staff and the students and the community. I can't even imagine the atmosphere in which some of these kids live today because they're hearing the gunshots at night. They are waking up to the news that maybe a friend of theirs had died. Some of them have wakened, awakened on several occasions to learn that their friends have died. How does that affect their psyche? How does that affect their sense of safety? Historically, Pittsburgh has been um, various neighborhoods, you know, and what happened here, you know, as in most neighborhoods, the Europeans moved, the Jews moved out, African Americans moved in. In the early 60s, they tore down all of the places where people were living to build a civic arena, and they moved them further up on the hill to public housing. I think a lot of young people are violent in the community because they have nothing, nowhere else to go. I mean, you know, like, it's a good day to die for some of these people, you know, and young people who are saying that I don't expect to live to be 18. I mean, that is an environmental issue because it is a psychological, mental environment. And whatever happens to the earth happens to us, and whatever happens to us happens to the earth. The 
so the three things that you need in order to have a peaceful community and to build a better environment is longevity, resistance, and resilience.